go. Thanks, Brent. <laughs> he took over for me. It would have been really tri tricky to have missed this particular mammal in the form of a large bull who I have a funny suspicion might be in must. And the reason I say that is I just got a waft of his scent and he's also just got that sort of lumbering look about him as if to say to us, I am in the middle of the road and I'm going to continue to be in the middle of the road and you will just, no, he's definitely in must. Just got the full whiff of it. He's on his way to visit Brent in the tent, which has a very alo alo esque sound or ring about it. Hello, boy. It's the one animal you can track on this sort of morning. They actually leave tracks. And there we go. Hello, mister. Generally, bulls, or all elephants actually, prefer it if you approach in a slightly, at a slightly different angle rather than driving up behind them. And you'll often find, if you have a look at some of the Kruger videos, that the elephants that have become really very upset with various tourists, the you'll see quite a few times it's because the person has approached right up their bottom which they really don't appreciate so we'll give him plenty of room until he decides to turn and perhaps start feeding look at that lumber and whilst he looks like he's moving unbelievably slowly he is very rapidly covering ground it's a slow walk for him but with the, when your legs are that long and when you're that massive even a slow walk translates into quite a rapid movement elsewhere. He's a massive boy. There are worse traffic jams to be stuck in on a Thursday morning? Yes, Thursday morning. What a perfect way to start off our safari. And I would tell you all about the bird sounds, but I think, to be quite honest, to, in order to hear them, all you'd hear would be the pitter-patter of rain on our roof. And what may or may not be thunder, surely not. Can't be. We don't get thunder after two days of solid drizzle. There you go, you big boy. Are you going to go visit Brent? Yes? Lovely old bull. Quite short tusks, but it looks as though he's actually broken them because they're quite thick at the base. He is not a young bull elephant. And of course, you can't judge an elephant's age by the size of the tusks themselves because each one is different. Each individual has different growth rates of their tusks. But generally, when you see a bull with thick tusks, it means that they are older than 30. They're starting to get to that point where they laying of ivory happens much more rapidly than it did bless you Beam, than it did in their early in their early lives this rain is making us all sneeze taylor's coughing Beam's sneezing 